As an actor, radio host, MC and celebrity, Sunil Osman has plenty of self-confidence. As a boxer though, he probably wouldn't describe himself as the greatest. But this didn't stop him from climbing into the ring for charity. Karishma met Sunil for a blow-by-blow -blow account of his story. Hi, it's me. I'm here to see Mr. Nasruddin. Sunil Osman is a man of many parts and whether he's using his voice, his face or his entire body, he puts his heart and soul into the performance. When Karishma arrived at the gym where he was training, she found that much the same could be said about Sunil's approach to boxing. Making a name for yourself in the entertainment industry can be hit or miss, but a couple of blows haven't managed to keep Sunil Osman down, as he's been making a mark on the industry for over 19 years, and he certainly knows how to roll with the punches. Looking good, Sunil. Thank you very and much. Tell me, in a nutshell, who is Sunil Osman? Sunil Osman has been somebody that's, that's been active for about 19 years, from acting to presenting to hosting to even comedy. Did some comedy too. Did my first theatre production in 1990 and um, speech and drama right through school. Even sang in a choir for a while. So a jack of all trades and a master of some, I would say. You were looking pretty good in the ring there. Have you always been an avid boxer? The straight up answer for that is no. Then what made you decide to enter a boxing match? I got approached by a group of people from Bullyproof, a charity boxing match that happens. They asked me to be part of a celebrity boxing match. It's about anti-bullying, which is also very close to my heart, and that is, that is what made me say yes. Have you experienced any bullying in your life? When I went to a new school post-apartheid, I was bullied quite a bit because I was one of three non-white people in the class and they didn't have an understanding for the culture or anything and it went through, right through my school and then I picked up so much weight. I weigh the same now that I weighed when I was 10, 11 years old. So it opened myself up to lots and lots of bullying. And what I found is that when I went home, I became the bully towards my younger brother. Even just, just speaking about it, it, it sort of it, it makes me feel horrible inside that, that I was the bully towards my brother. What has been the biggest challenge, not just physically, but mentally? I'm putting my body on the line for a cause that's very dear to my heart. So that's been pretty hard to deal with the fact that I'm going to have to come to the party. And taking the punches at sparring was, the, I'm not used to being hit, I'm a suit and tie wearing guy. So that's been pretty hard. But at the end of the day, it is about the cause. What has been most rewarding about the process? Getting messages on my social media from people who say, thank you for doing this, I was not able to step up and face my bully as a child. From social awareness campaigns to game shows, Sunil is a consummate all-rounder, although he actually began his showbiz career as a radio host and producer. As an entertainer, you're constantly juggling so many things, whether it's prepping for an audition, running to castings, going to an MC gig, going to radio events. How do you manage it all? Management has been quite tough. I mean, you've got to manage your schedule very, very hard. But because I've been doing this for so many years, I've sort of got a way in which I can manage it. But speaking about that, I've actually got to get to an MC gig now. So I've got to go get changed. And I'll meet you in the smoothie bar. Sounds like a plan. Karishma ordered two tall glasses of green goodness while she waited for Sunil to get out of the ring and into his celebrity MC look. Thank you so much. Perfect timing. Thank These you. just arrived. Oh, the smoothie or smoothies. <laughs> you recently got back from working on a cruise ship. Takes a special kind of person to embark on such an adventure. I was actually on a short film set. And one of the people came up to me and said, have you ever thought of being an auctioneer on a cruise ship? And then I became an art auctioneer on seven different ships across the United States and Europe. I got to see Alaska, Iceland, Spain, Italy, France, Greece, traveling the world on the sea in a big, massive vessel. Being an MC is not for the faint-hearted. What made you decide to try your hand at it? I decided to get into it after being approached by an agent and they said to me that I've got a very good voice at the time and that I've got a lot of confidence in front of people. 
And then I tried it with a small group of people, bigger groups of people, 11,000 people. And I just, that, that's how I got into MC. You certainly have a knack for public speaking. Thank you, yes, yes. I actually, I, I've been very blessed in that I, I have been able to do motivational speaking for youth as well. I speak to the youth just about my life, the entertainment industry, and motivating them is very, very important. Sunil has a striking ability to portray a convincing character when he's acting and then be absolutely himself when he's addressing his audience as a motivational speaker. He's also not afraid to share his personal experience of life's ups and downs. Take me through some of your career highlights. When I got back into acting, the first movie I did was called The World Unseen. It was very emotionally draining because I had to catch a baby off a moving train, which I'll never forget. And then there was the movie Hansi, which I, which I did. And there was a music video for a, a band called Taxi Violence, uh, called Heads or Tails, that I did that won awards in Wales. My whole career has been filled with different highlights all over the place. Any advice for someone who wants to get into the entertainment industry? Know what you are good at, know your niche, and don't try and do the other people's work. Know your niche and know it well, and always work at your craft. Wow, what an inspiration. Sunil Osman certainly packs a punch in more ways than one.